After the high of saving the station, the reality and the work set in. Owners had to take ownership. Everyone had to work together, doing tasks that weren't necessarily in our job descriptions. Everyone's fingers are there. First up, we had to build a new Czech News studio. The people that are here are into it 110%, and that's what's making it work. So we're, we're pretty proud of it, and ourselves. The commitment evident everywhere, as staff put in long hours of manual labor. It's kind of like I'm building my own workplace. I love it. It's kind of neat because it gives you a sense of ownership when it's all said and done. And we had to tighten the fiscal belt. These were now our dollars. One way we did that, consolidating to a single floor to reduce leasing costs. There have been many changes for us here at Czech Television. Under Ken West, our control room was operated out of Vancouver. This program is brought to you in part by Master Control, which kept our signal on the air out of Calgary. We had to buy the equipment and build the space to make the station fully island operated. It's good to have local news back in Victoria. It's great. There will be no changes to the roster that was announced. February 1st was our first newscast out of our new control room. Woohoo! One down. <laughs> Walls were removed and rebuilt for our newsroom. Once finished, the empty space gave way to a busy and active news hub, the final step to bring all of the staff together. It's good times, Robin. It's good times. That was behind the scenes. Five to studio. Four. Three. In the public eye. There are many questions tonight. The biggest compliment we could have received. Tony approached us. Tony Parsons, the most recognized face in the province, loved what we were doing. He was closely watching what we were doing here, and he believed as well that what we were doing here was special. Well, I think I wanted to be a part of history, and I think what has happened here and what everyone has done is really historical. I just think it's delightful that people have the conviction to put their own money into this, to uh, save a station that was a heritage station. And that heritage came full circle. Shortly after Tony arrived, another change for Czech, a news affiliation with CBC, returning us to our roots. Now that means that we'll have access to feeds from across the country, and we'll also be helping to reflect Vancouver Island to the rest of Canada through CBC news coverage. Here, but I'll tell you what, they pulled it off. One year after the purchase, Czech remains an ever-changing, ever-evolving, and ever-growing station. When Can West finished with, with Czech Television, there was 29.3 full-time equivalents, and now we're closer to 62. For the employees, what makes all the long days and sleepless nights worth it? The incredible support from our island community. A gentleman walked up to me, he said, hey, uh, uh, Graham, he says, uh, I hear good things about what's happening with Czech and what you guys are doing. He said, that's fantastic. And that happens all the time. I would say it happens two or three times a week without, without a word of a lie. It's been an emotional roller coaster. It's a ride that uh, you have to experience it to appreciate it. Um, would I want to be anywhere else? No. I wouldn't trade it for anything. A souvenir of the struggle remains in plain sight. So it's a reminder to me just how close it came and what we've done, what we've accomplished. And I think it's, uh, we've accomplished a lot in a year and uh, we're just starting. The only way now is, is upwards. For Czech's longest serving employee, my prime focus now, whether I'm here or not, is that the station continues and continues to provide the local coverage that we have done so well, so long. Let's do it another 56 years. It's a reality check of the best kind. We will continue to cover news while making history.